Lord Cutler Beckett is a formidable and cunning antagonist in the Pirates of the Caribbean universe. As the Lord of the East India Trading Company, he aspires to establish an unyielding grip on sea trade, backed by the might of the British Royal Navy. Though not as prominent as iconic villains like Davy Jones and Barbossa, Beckett is a well-written and substantial addition to the Pirates of the Caribbean saga. The depth of his character becomes apparent as he plays a significant role in opposing the free-spirited pirates, highlighting the narrative conflict between those who desire freedom and Beckett's unwavering quest for control. I would have thought you learned that when I ordered you to kill your pet. This is no longer your world, Jones. The immaterial has become immaterial. Cutler Beckett, the face of the East India Trading Company, is a classic gentleman of his time. A quick look reveals that he has a liking for looking good, or what the British considered as good back in the day. When we first encounter him, he arrives with a dozen armed men disrupting Elizabeth and William's wedding ceremony. At first glance, Beckett might appear boring to those with limited knowledge of him, but considering he rose to lead the East India Trading Company, he can't be that uninteresting, can he? Beckett meticulously plans and effortlessly manipulates others. Almost everyone seems to be following his lead, eagerly making deals with him. Even Davy Jones, who reluctantly follows Beckett's orders, ends up being subtly influenced and controlled by him. Fundamentally, Beckett's life revolves around conquest and global dominance. In Dead Man's Chest, he pursues Jack's compass, a device guiding the possessor to their deepest desire. In Beckett's case, the heart of Davy Jones, granting him control over the seas. Despite lacking supernatural powers and physical strength, a typical traits of villains in the story, he managed to hold Davy Jones captive, kill Elizabeth's father, and even instill fear in Barbosa and the other pirates. It doesn't matter that he isn't taller than a muskrat standing up or that he does not possess the skill to fight directly against his enemies because he doesn't need it. His strength relies on the brain department, Against all odds, Beckett finds himself alone dealing with his enemies in unfavorable circumstances more than once. He gets threatened with a blade and sometimes a pistol by Elizabeth, Jack, and even Davy Jones himself. Yet, he never loses his composure. He doesn't panic or beg for his life, even in the face of death. In any situation, Beckett remains calm, in control, and elegant. Even when faced with challenges, he's confident he can handle them. He despises cowardice and consistently acts as a strong leader. A notable instance of Beckett's constant composure is his death. As he realizes he cannot defeat the invincible Dutchman, he ignores an officer's plea for orders, gazing over the wreckage of his ship. Although there are moments of astonishment and bewilderment as his world crumbles, there's no sign of fear or frantic attempts at a final struggle. He gracefully accepts his destiny. Beckett is really good at manipulating and planning strategically. He carefully thinks through each move to reach his goals. He manipulates others by playing on their fears and desires. He's ruthless and arrogant, seeing people as tools to get what he wants. His fancy clothes and lifestyle show off his wealth and power. Unfortunately, Lord Cutler Beckett isn't recognized as a canonical and iconic villain in the Pirates of the Caribbean world. Some argue that Davy Jones, with his exceptionally intriguing design, is a cooler antagonist. In my opinion, what happened is that Beckett got overshadowed and got lost among excellent characters. People are more likely to remember extravagant personalities like Jack Sparrow or Captain Barbosa than Beckett's subtle demeanor. However, it's agreed upon that he was a formidable opponent, and he met his end with dignity, 